Alrighty. Uh, so, um, uh, I, you want me to start out? You want me to put a little intro in it? Welcome to Everything's Funny at 3 a.m. My name is Yag. This is Mitzi. We just watched a movie, um, Poltergeist. Uh, I'm, I'm going to let her talk about it first because I... I went, you know, and, and I'll, I'll caveat my whole situation with with the fact that I <laughs> I came into this movie not wanting to watch it. I uh, I heard things about it online. I just didn't want to see this shit. I I I, I don't like remakes to movies that I like at the very beginning. Um, so I'm gonna let her talk because she dug it, and she she even told me that she really liked it. So I'm gonna let her do her thing. So. Uh, well, uh, do you want to talk about the trailers at the very beginning that we watched? What, what there was one thing that was on there that was good. Oh, the pixel. You thought that pixel looked good. I think you, pixel you said you would like watch shit. it. Well, yeah, I said I would watch it because well, well, there, there was there was like they had Cubert on there. They had yeah. Cubert. I have to watch it because of Cubert. Okay, I was gonna say like, That's if, it. do we have a problem? That's it. We don't have a problem no, because you don't just, like Cubert. Just okay, Cubert. Like just Cubert. That's fine. Um, so, what was the other one? That weird Loki uh, oh, Thor one with oh the movie God, Aberdeen Abbey or something like that. No, it's oh, I can't remember what it's what it's called. But I think it has the girl who played Alice in Alice in Wonderland. Ew, that's why she looked like she was on crack I, the entire time. Well, she looks like she belongs in a Tim Burton movie, yeah, which is good. That's why she was in a Tim Burton movie. Well, okay, exactly. But that's just it, though. Is you know, it looks really dark, really creepy, which obviously I go for movies like that, and. It looked really, really interesting. And the fact that, you know, Chris Hemsworth just so Which happens to be in it. I is didn't see okay. him very well in that one. I liked uh, the other guy, the guy who plays Loki. That's Tom there. Hiddleston. Tom, Tom Hiddleston. He, he was doing like a cool. But it, it, okay, I was getting, and I don't know if that was maybe just me, but I was getting kind of a like a weird, like, I like this girl's sister. It's like, we have to murder him, brother. You know, him? kind of. Her or whatever, I don't know. <laughs> but it, it was it, the 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 mode of that one was that they um, moved to a haunted house. That's yeah, what it looks well, no, like. No. So, so he he owns a haunted house. Well, yeah, and that's the thing. Like that's so he owns the haunted house. He's like some kind of lord. Yeah. Uh, back in the it's Victorian era. Yeah. And so he gets a wife, and his sister lives there too. Mm -hmm. Which is just weird. Like and you never want to live with. Oh your no, that's sister. that's what you did back in the day, especially if your sister wasn't married. But or my if you question were at that point, yeah, yeah, all my Mexicans, yeah. Okay, they can't Maybe. see you, so now that's racist. They think you're a white girl. No, that's I, awful. I don't even sound like a white girl. Should I bust out in Spanish? Uh, yeah, a no, bit. hablo español. Ah, uh, that's that's beautiful. It's a beautiful language. Okay, um, <clears throat> so that one that one looked kind of interesting, but you know, I'm I'm only liking it because it's a new IP. So I was like, all right, that's something. Uh, do, what else was the other one that they had? They had Terminator, uh, but I didn't. But you know, we were walking in right whenever Terminator. Yeah, we we walked playing. in a little bit later, so we missed the the screen captures. It was funny. So we get into the the theater. We 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 shell out extra for the Regal Ultra Pass. Apparently, $15 that's fifteen dollars and fifty cents. That's... Apparently, uh, what's the fifty cents tacked on for? That's my question. <laughs> Like, where's the 15? Because somebody went, you know what? We'll just add a 15. So that's normal adult costs are seven. Uh, this ten. was. I think it's is 10, it 10 now. now. I think it's Shit. 10 now. Yeah. It's going to really cut my drinking that money. 50, that 50 cents was like just, for the squishy chairs yeah. or the squeaks. There was a whole bunch of squeaks. Oh my God. Oh, and I'll get into that in a little bit. But um, it, it was just a bigger screen. Yeah, bigger it was a bigger screen. screen. That's it. Yeah, fifty cents per per all all five people who were in there. Yeah, there was not many people in this, uh, which is just that's kind of sad. But then again, it's like Tuesday night. It's going but surprised. that was also nice, nice though, because you know there wasn't like a whole lot of talking or yeah. you know kids crying in the background. Which or... it's it, I don't know if they, can you look it up and see if it's a PG. I, I can't remember if it's a PG thirteen movie or not. But there was that one, and I'm you know there's Pixel, there was another funny one. Which oh, I, Spy. Spy, Spy, which... I don't even like... I don't like that... What's her name? Uh, Melissa McCarthy? Yeah. Melissa McCarthy, I think. Yeah. I don't really like her very much, but honestly, this looks like a that really like funny it movie. Funny. Yeah, it, it reminded me a lot of Johnny English or or any of the ones where it's like the loser guy becomes the spy. I like how they had to have Jason Statham in it, though. Like, you have to have him in there for it to be like an awesome well, selling movie. I think they could have done it well without Jason Statham because they had Jude Law being the, the James Bond, but I think that was what the point was. Was it's the two different kinds of... It's PG-13. PG-13, hang on. 
it was two, uh, two different kinds of like the spy thrillers. Like you have the, the James Bondy spy thriller and then you had the, uh, the, uh, like Jason Statham transporter, uh, you know, spy thriller. Yeah. So. I guess it took care of both things. Yeah. And I, I think there was like one other one that was supposed to be scary. Oh, oh it was that found footage piece of shit one. Oh, uh, the, the, oh, gal- gallows. the gallows. Oh, it, what was his name? It was like Chester or Billy or something Charlie. like that? Charlie. 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 Oh, no, Charlie. Don't take me to the chocolate factory, Charlie. I saw something. No. <laughs> no, I come saw, on, Charlie. I saw something online about Charlie being a Mexican ghost or something. And I really hope this wasn't talking about Charlie. the same thing. Because oh no, Charlie. Charlie I don't, got tongue on the I don't thing. think Charlie is really a Mexican name. Maybe it was. Like, I mean, I know that none of my family are Charlies. Maybe it was like Chaz or something. I don't know. Charles. Charlie. Charles is definitely a Charlie. Uh, not, I just not Mexican I couldn't name. take it fucking seriously. It was a piece of shit movie. Oh oh, in the fu- oh. I don't know where the the trend for for doing the slow-mo version of like an older song has come in. I enjoyed the Robert Palmer <laughs> song. I was trying to figure out what you were talking about. I enjoyed about. I, I did not uh, like the mama and the papa's Rihanna bullshit, but you fucking did n- smells like teen spirit? Are you fucking kidding me? I, Fuck you. I, you don't have the balls to be coming up against fucking Kurt Cobain. I thought it was all right. No, no, no. I, I don't know. I didn't hear that. I just... I'm an, uh, no, 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 no. I just like It is songs. not all right. I like songs that are slowed down. I do. I think it, it was adds... not all right. A little bit of creepiness in no. there. I think that no, was they were what like, they were trying to do. Let's do a creepy version of Smells Like Teen Spirit. I mean, that is, that's not the best choice of song, but I mean... That's it not even... It should of... not have even been a choice of song. It was still kind of creepy. No, it wasn't. It was a little bit creepy. It was creepy how bad it was. Yeah. Well, it was still creepy. <laughs> as, see, that's that's why like that's why I wouldn't do very well in one of the the found footage movies because the second I heard something like that, I would just start freaking out and like bust through a wall. Well, you should probably I'd get just mad Kool-Aid at the, man that shit. Just, you should probably fuck your shit. Get mad at the person who made the trailer. Then oh, I'm pretty sure the person who made. The oh, trailer I'm betting is the one that movie's started. not even in it. You know, it's not even in there. No, I I want to get mad at the band too. Like, how dare you just bust into their house? Start beating hell out of You know what this is for? Yes, I do. I'm you sorry. know why. Whap. You know why. Whap. Whap. This is coming. <laughs> you know why. The cops just show up. They give me a, you know some hot coke. It's like, we know somebody was going to do it. We, we had an office betting pool. I assume that's how we the cops would like talk about it. just like Nirvana. I just can't believe they would do that to Nirvana. It smells like teen spirit. How and dare they. Number one song of 90s? 90s? Mm-hmm. Of the 90s. That was Created my really, really it. bad. That was I, I don't know what Texan. the hell that was. <gasps> Rude. That was a really good Texan impersonation. You're you are Texan. It's, you don't need to impersonate Texans. Yes, I do. I'm Mexican. You're you're still Texan. You were born here. Well, yeah, but I still have that Whatever. Mexican accent. You don't have a ac- Mexican accent. You got you got a. a yes, I do. <laughs> That's a Mexican accent. There you go, honey. They now now say no habla español. No hablo español. Yes, I do. I do. What are you talking about? That was more of a Swedish accent than anything else. Good on, Peter. What is it? The the summer, of course, summer I get your sale, cock. Summer sale blowout. There what is it? it? The summer big, sale blowout. What is it? What is that? I don't know. Oh, I thought he was Swedish. The guy from Frozen. Oh, the uh, big summer oh, yes. blowout. Oh, yeah. Big oh, summer blowout. Big summer blowout. You can find that in this party good set. Yeah, All right, anyway. so obviously I know okay. what my person's going to sound like later. All right, so and then we got in the movie proper, which they changed the beginning part, which I kind of, I understand the idea of it because, you know, the second, it, it, that was one of the things that did bother me about the original was the fact that you went from, uh, you know, they, they were just now moving out of the house or were they putting in a pool? Or was it their friend that was putting in a pool? They were doing something, but they they were well established in that home, and then shit started happening. This wasn't like, you know, random. It was just you know like oh well that one was random, but but yeah. in this one they they walk into the house and shit starts happening. Which, Although which was kind of nice. Uh, okay. What was the other movie? Which with pizza in it? Like what? the dad brings pizza home. There was another movie like they live out in the fucking middle of nowhere, and the dad comes home with pizza. I don't know. There, there was, it was the same kind of horror movie type thing. But either way, though, so for I, I've I've seen Poltergeist. I own Poltergeist. I haven't seen it in quite a while. Mm-hmm. So 
I had to get refreshed on some of the things after the movie, of course, as to why John didn't like it. Sorry, Yogg didn't like it. Um, but it's, it's not as bad. The, the ending was shit. I didn't like the ending. It was bad. I didn't like the ending at all. But throughout the rest of the movie, though, I thought it was pretty pretty well done. I mean, it was it was fast-paced. It didn't leave you hanging. I do remember in Poltergeist how it um, it led up. I mean, it was like a whole bunch of stuff happened, and then they're like, ooh, this is kind of creepy. Oh, look at this. Hey, that's kind of cool. You know, we can push a chair across the kitchen. And this one wasn't like that. This one was very much menacing. You knew it was bad right from the get-go. Yes, you knew the movie was bad right from the get-go. Jerk. I'm sorry, I'll let you go ahead. And so, keep yeah. Keep talking yeah, about is, the shitty movie, this is, honey. This is my turn. Yes, hey, you're come right. on now. Let's go. Come on. Go I'm going to do this with you. <laughs> so, we'll do it with the camera. It was, <laughs> <it'll be hilarious. laughs> so, it was okay. And, you know, for the people who have ADHD, like myself, it was alright. Because we could keep up with the movie. We knew it was bad. The, not the movie. <laughs> jerk <laughs> i didn't say anything <laughs> you said it for me <laughs> whatever that the the poltergeist the poltergeist was bad it was very menacing and you know the effects the effects weren't too bad either the clown scared the crap out of me which isn't hard to do because clowns are pretty creepy you can you can tell everybody like step by step how they work. oh sorry no i mean you, spoilers you, no no you don't spoiler it, they, they automatically know it's a spoiler situation oh. at this point. i mean there was a freaking clown in the first one yeah that one, I'll say that the clown that they had in this one, like, the the clown that they had in the original one, you were just like, that motherfucking clown is going to do something. You know, like, you just, you, you saw it, you didn't know why the hell you would have that in a kid's movie, like, like in a kid's uh, room, like, in the movie, you just like, there would, there would be no fucking way we have that in a kid's yeah. movie. Yeah. No. But, um, in this one, when you saw that clown, you were just like, well, that's a motherfucking clown that's going to come to life. <laughs> Yeah. It's like the second the lights go out, boom, that clown is moving. And he Although, already had like the creepy face and everything. Like they specifically yep. made that clown to look evil. Yep. It wasn't the one that's like, oh, hi, happy, go lucky, weird, creepy smile. No, mm. no, no. This one had like the evil. It looked kind of like it. Yeah. Like a if full like, on Pennywise. Yeah, yeah. Like Pennywise the clown. It was so, It was like the evil clown from, uh, was, from what's it called? Uh, uh, Cabin in the Woods. Oh yeah, the yeah. stabby. <laughs> uh, uh, I, I'm, you know, uh, I'm glad they didn't make noise on that one. Oh, and then they. <sighs> okay, you go. Oh, um. So yeah. So I mean, it was it was it was all right. It really was. It wasn't horrible. It I've was. seen much worse. You, yeah, no, you, you have seen. Too. I have seen much worse that was trying to be better. This one, this was like uh, like a kid who forgot that he had an essay the next day, and he just slapped it all together. That's uh, no. Uh, they, they, there was no pacing, you know. Suddenly, boom! Ah, scary shit! You know. Eh. Okay, um, so John then, doesn't watch a whole lot of scary movies. I, uh, yo, I well, am, I watch more scary movies I than am, you. Whatever. I watch more scary movies than you. Whatever. I wa don't. I lose friends because of how many scary movies. I, I watch all the scary watch. movies. I have seen every <laughs> scare. I've seen every scary movie that you have said watched, except for maybe the ABCs of Death and v VHS, mostly because I. I own too many VHSs, and I'm like, well, that wouldn't happen with VHS tape. That was another thing that I didn't like about this one. The electronics with their, like, you know, screen fading, fading in, fading out. That doesn't happen now. It's a movie! And, okay. It's okay. a movie! Yeah, it's a movie. So, you, that's what, why you don't we're automatically doing, think of that's it. That's why we're doing a movie review. Yeah, and you know what? It could have been better, is all I'm saying. It could have, they could have taken it out. They could have done a lot different stuff. I did not, you know, I really wanted to see more shit that was happening with that phone. I mean, you went through the entire, I, yeah, I realize this isn't Chekhov's was... fucking gun or not, but he flipped, she, so, uh, the daughter character who starts off as a bitch. Oh, she's still she, a bitch. Well, okay. Throughout the whole thing, that girl gets on my damn No, nerves. no, no. See, she, she starts <laughs> out as a bitch. Which I guess and is then, good for her character then, because I'm sure that's what she was going for. So the yeah. actress, you know, kudos to you, because yeah, you no, made she, me hate your character. But, so, she starts out as a bitch, like, the whole time. And yeah. then, when she's taking care of the kid, she kisses the thing three times, and she's all playful with the... Yeah, sister. so she's like a super nice sister, which, yeah, which, to, which be, to be honest... That was a tonal shift to, for her. To be honest, though, like, if you're home alone with your siblings, you're not going to be a complete nutter asshole. 
Well, C- coming from personal experience, the thing is, then why did we only see? We only saw bitch, 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 and then mom and dad left, and it's like was, suddenly she's like, "Well, I can turn off the bitch now." But, mom and dad. Well, yeah, here. because she was a bitch to her parents, not so much her brother and sister. It, she was a bitch to her brother. She was a bitch to her brother because she thought that he messed up her phone. Yeah, but she was a bitch to him the entire time too. Because she thought he messed up her phone. No, before when they were in the car. Oh well, then she was just an asshole. Yeah, she was an asshole the entire time up until <laughs> they okay. they closed the door, and then suddenly it's like, oh, Rainbow, oh well, <laughs> rainbows Woo. and butterflies and unicorns. And yeah, I'm maybe, a happy person. Maybe I I don't know if it was I I mean we just didn't see that with with it before the crazy shit happens. It's like, and she starts out crazy shit and then she's like, oh God, I hate this whole place. Oh my God. And then she's watching the fucking, I swear to God, hashtag this house is clean. Fuck you. Uh, Fuck you Twitter that, generation for that has, hashtag. This house, is, house is clean. That was horrible. They fucked it. They fucked it up like three times. Like the, the Irish that guy was... never actually said this house is clean. Yeah, he just he did. Ca- no, he kept saying the house is clean. Oh. The house is clean. The house is clean. The house is clean. Like like he's a, a fucking merry maid who came out of nowhere. It's like, oh don't worry, the house is clean. It's like no. I, I liked his character. I I, I I don't know how to feel about it. Um I, I don't I think you're used to being the the little old lady. Well, no, uh, I I don't know how to feel about his character because I think I, I like the idea of it. I just think that when they added him into it, uh, and then they like there wasn't really a reason to have him dating the the uh, the doctor lady. I think it made them more it, uh, see, that's easier a, to that's, relate to. I guess just like but just like I the, know, but it's just like suddenly suddenly they they were in love for for years and like we okay. didn't get that information beforehand. But they said it wasn't that long. Whoa. Yeah, it, it, it's kind of funny that they just dropped it on there. But they try to make them relatable, just like they make the parents relatable. I mean, it, it made sense as to why he did it for free, but. Now it's like, and then they had a whole bunch of stupid jokes too. But anyway, so let me let me get back to the the very beginning part. So very beginning, new house, and they didn't check it all out. So there's like, there's a place where a squirrel got in. There's like that squirrel was crazy. That was a well. That, that was, was a rabbit squirrel. They made that fucking squirrel crazy. You know, probably because it's got ghosts in its head you know, compared to everybody else. But you don't have a like you don't check out the creepy little door. You just put. They didn't the, see the creepy door. They, it I, don't, I don't know how they didn't see the creepy I, door. I check fucking rooms for creepy doors. And, and you put... They, they have a kid. I don't know. We had this... We had this they one constantly door. keep saying he is afraid of everything. And you put him alone at the top of the stairs when you could have put the... See, if they had put the daughter in there, that would have made a little bit more sense. Yeah. You know, she and then the... Bitch. Yeah. But, I would have kept her ass in the attic, too. Yeah. And, and that's the thing. You So you put the little kid... And the only reason why you did it was so he could get yanked out by the fucking creepy-ass tree. You're telling me that you have somebody who's afraid of the dark, so he needs to have a, a nightlight, and you put a window up that you you can't cover... The window was already there. I know, but you, you put him in a room with a window that you can't cover but that up. that was the only room left. You could have swapped him out for the daughter's room. This is true. The that, older daughter. My daughter room. was a bitch. I would have put her up in the attic. Right? I know I already said that. But seriously, though, the, fuck that it girl. Didn't, it didn't make any sense to do that. Like, why... You only put him up there, so... I mean, he had nine of the scary things happen to him. Nothing happened in the the young, the young uh, the older daughter's room. That girl was Younger's twat. daughter's room was, like, <laughs> fucking weird. Can I say that? Can I say twat? Because she was. Oh, I mean, Watch your fucking language. Oh, sorry. Okay. <laughs> um, but the, the you know, so the, they didn't uh, have the scariest part though. The one that I was waiting for. Yeah. Like so. The in, drill in the thing preview, was interesting. It was it was interesting, but the the thing that scared the shit out of me in the trailer was whenever the little girl first gets pulled into the closet and you see it from far away, mm-hmm. a hand doesn't come up. Okay. It's a whole bunch of faces that come up. Okay. And you can see like their eyes that are like super white, unless I was just probably seeing shit. I don't know. Well, we'll, we'll, but, we'll watch the trailer then at some point because that maybe that would have made it a lot better. Yeah, like I thought that was genuinely creepy, and so whenever a hand popped up, I was like, "That's not what I was expecting." Yeah, and it, it came up like it was funny because it kind of I thought it was like one of those like uh, hands that you put in like the the candy jar at, uh, <laughs> at Halloween. Halloween. So it did this little claw thing, and then it rolled forward. It like comes towards her, but there's no like. You know, like no fast button. motion. It looks like it's on rollers. So it's yeah, like it's like, it's like suddenly hand attacks your face. Yep. So that that was interesting. There wasn't a, there wasn't enough 
quiet moments, I don't think. They're, except for, I will give them the one thing that I, I really enjoyed was the, uh, the, um, the, the quiet part. So there was a quiet part where the kid, the, the mom is playing a video game and she just slams into it like a, a comic milk book. crate with comic books. So the kid takes the comic books upstairs and then there's a, uh, a, a softball that rolls down and it hits the door. And it's, it's cool because before this, every scene had that, you know, like the, 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 like, let's, let's do that slow, like build up of just like that, like G chord that slowly builds and like sound. Oh, like the crazy and music. Like, mm. Yeah. And I then like something scary happened. I, I didn't know what you were doing. So he did. Yeah. You know, the scary music. Okay, there you go. I'll just say scary music yeah. from now on. That way we don't have a problem with it. Like organs, you know? Yeah, creepy, like an organ. Creepy, like, creepy music. They were doing like, tinkle, tinkle, tinkle. And I'm just like, okay, so, you know, we know something scary is going to happen. You're fucking telegraphing the whole damn thing. So this time, they didn't. It was silent. It was si like, it was good. It was it was a great scene. The, the ball rolls out of nowhere. He picks up the ball. He walks into the sister's room. He's like, what's going on? And it's all one take. You know, it's this smooth transition of him picking up the ball, walking into the room. He's like going to touch the thing, but he doesn't. And then he turns around and suddenly, you know, uh, the, the pyramid of fucking comic books. And then they blow away. And he's just like, fuck. Yeah, that part scared the shit out of me. That was good. Of course, it was the one time that the fat fuck down the way started, like, he dropped his bag of chips, so he was like, crunch, crunch, crack, crunch. Oh. Or, remember uh, that part? Yeah. That was like the, like, so it was silent in the movie theater, except for this one fucker who had to drop everything. And yeah. it was, it was like the one part of the movie that was quiet. And it was all, Because he was Oh, if I dropped my, his... my crackers or something like that. I, I don't know what he had. He had, like, he had something with cellophane. It was just like, seriously... You know, the one part that was atmospheric about this entire goddamn movie. You know and all you those fattened it up. You know you all those uh, all those previews wherever they're like, Don't make noise. Don't yeah. do this, don't talk it on your cell phone like that. We didn't that really get that. Guy. We got the the dumbass roller coaster, the regal roller coaster. I love that roller coaster. That roller coaster has been Only the same because, roller coaster. Exactly. Since like the 1950s. That's why I love it, because I'm just like, man, this brings back old memories right here. Memories of me being a kid. A better watching movies, movies. Better movies. They were better. Yeah. They were. So, uh, the, they, they kept doing static on the screens, which, you know, they, they, it didn't make a whole lot of sense to me. They could have done pixelated stuff. It could have been, like, really pixelated. But they and based it off of the old that, That's the problem. Movie. You didn't have to do that. You could have, you could have made it completely your own. No, because then you would have bitched about that. No, I wouldn't have. Oh, yes. I, I, have. I bitched about the entire fucking movie. Exactly. No Sam Rockwell dancing. Ugh. You, we thought he was going to, though. Uh, really? Especially during the sex part? Yeah. Oh, it's just well, like, the, yeah. the, 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 the pre-sex. They didn't even get to do it. Oh, uh, I did uh, think that that was pretty fucking cute. That was adorable. He was just like, she's just like, take your pants off. And he's just like, what, really? Oh, God. He's <laughs> like, okay. Oh, uh, Ooh. He's and like taking the hands off. Sun walks I in. I feel kind of bad. He wears tidy whities That's well, they weren't white. They were like red or something I like that. But he's got like I believe it. You were looking that close under at his underwear. Yeah, it's just I was just like, okay, so this is happening. Oh, his underwear. And, and you know, I was not paying was like, that huh. close of attention. It, it was babe. just. It was shocking. It was like, dude. damn, dude, that just. It's just you. You vacuum sealing your junk there, buddy. Uh, I felt bad for Samra. Well, because I was hoping he would dance. Uh -huh. That's why I was looking. at Is him, that too. why you were looking at his underwear? Yep. You were that was exactly it. it. I was hoping he was gonna dance. Yeah. I wanted to see some some Sam Rockwell dancing. I don't know. And I didn't get any Sam Rockwell dancing nope. in tidy whiteies. You just got red underwear. Yep. I was disappointed. This is awkward. It's not awkward at all. <laughs> and of course, the kid's sleeping on top of the bed because if he, you know, okay, so yeah, that's what it, it breaks out into. So the uh, the kid comes downstairs, cock blocks Sam Rockwell, takes him upstairs, which. Over there, so which um, he he goes upstairs. They see it's like, why the fuck is all there so many clowns? And he's like, oh, just people like get random shit, buddy. It's like, so wait, you didn't check out this place. You just shoved your your kid with you know fucking night terrors up in there. Okay, whatever. All right, and then Squirrel comes out of nowhere and is like trying to rape them. <laughs> That fucking squirrel was insane. That squirrel was crazy, but I loved I loved his response to the squirrel. Though. I thought that was kind of funny, uh, except for the fact that he's got a, a younger daughter. Like if it was just the older daughter, I, I could have seen that shit. He's like, ah, oh, he bounces against the walls, and then he comes up, and he's like, ah, oh, it's a squirrel. I'll get it trapped tomorrow. And then this it shows the kid sleeping on top of the bed, which I'm like, really? 
like mom and dad are under the blankets. Well, Kid is so that's not completely crazy to me, only because. <sighs> If a mom and dad are under a blanket, mm -hmm. then a kid can lay on top of the blanket, but the kid would also have a blanket, too. Yeah, like a separate blanket. Yeah, yeah. you know, like it gives it them like just their like, personal space. You, you know? get to sleep on top of the blanket, child. You get no warmth today. Um, yeah. And then he wakes up, and, and then, of course, you know, the daughter's, the younger daughter's talking to the TV, but she has to go downstairs. That little girl is so creepy. I just, I, I, she I think just, it's, she's big eyes. She's got big. She, she looked like she was hoarding nuts for the winter. She, she looked oh, like a but gerbil. She had cute little cheeks. They were just huge. Oh, you just are so big. harsh. I didn't see the eyes. Like that was oh my thing. My That's God. all I saw were oh, these the giant part with cheeks. The, the part with the closet scared the shit out of me too. Which part? With the little whenever that he thought that it was her, but her face, that, her face freaked me out. That was weird. Was it like it? To me, that one was out of place. Because it was a complete, like, they couldn't have, they should have done something different with the, uh, the creepy face thing, because that was so... Kind of like Grave that was Encounters. Very, Remember, yeah, have that you was, ever seen Grave Encounters? Nah, seen okay, one. so on Grave Encounters, there is, they're in a mental hospital, right? Mm -hmm. And so they, they hear, or they see somebody off in the corner, so they walk in, and they're, you know, they're doing the whole, hey, are you okay, do you need help thing? And then whenever she turns around, she looks kind of normal. And then her jaw drops, and it's like completely black, and her eyes get really yeah. big. Like that's what I thought they were going and to do. That would have worked a little bit more. The problem with that one was the other one. It just reminded me of like, of of Juan or Ringu or something. But like that's that. probably it was, just maybe that's what on. they were. I think that's what they were them. trying for that. But see, you know, Poltergeist is such a American an iconic movie. American movie. Yeah. You put that in there, it's like adding sesame chicken to, you know. A, I don't even know, like a hot dog or something like that. Okay. Just like, what uh, the fuck is this? I'll take it. You've never been to Chopsticks because they have all kinds of macaroni and cheese. And well, I'm just saying, like, it would be very odd. Who don't know what Chopsticks are? It's a buffet place. It's a buffet. So it's it's a buffet. It's like a, a Chinese food, American, American food. Just and see, that's the thing. And I get it. You would you'd mix those in all the time. But I'm just saying, like, you know, if you had like, I don't know, like you had uh, pieces of tofu stuck in your chicken noodles. Or like miso paste in it. Just be like, huh, okay. I mean, it's not like, it's not unpalatable. It's just like, why would you go through the fucking, okay. Or maybe they were just trying to like, stick with something that wasn't. Or just like, it's like wasn't... a one little bit. That's probably why. It's It was just one little bit of that. And then it flipped over to the other stuff. Yeah. But maybe it's the fact that they were trying to make it off without being. Too off. Yeah. Ridiculous. Well, then we didn't get to see it. I mean, we don't even get to see the, the creature, like he. It jumps on the dad, and then suddenly he like stands up. It's not there. Uh, I did like the guy with the drill. So uh, dipshit, uh, that guy had no redeeming qualities. He really didn't. He was. He, he was, it was just they a just wanted to treat him like shit. Yeah, you know, that's he what was, I didn't like. He was just a douche in that. Uh, movie. So they, he's like, uh, they, when they go after the daughter gets picked up, they, uh, they go to the the paranormal research place, and apparently mom went isn't you know. An alumnus there, so they did that. Uh, but she uh, she goes he goes up to the wall to drill in a, a heat sensor. Which you know the fact that they didn't catch any of that on fucking camera. They had a camera behind them. They oh didn't get Lord. to see the camera. You should have heard him talk about the camera. Oh, I was pissed. That is the the main room where shit keeps happening, and you don't have a fucking camera in there, but you have a heat sensor. No, no, no. I just meant like how you wanted that camera that they had in the movie. Oh God, the camera that he had was. It was a little tiny. I don't even know what the hell it was, but it was pretty. It was oh, pretty I'm gonna camera. have to. I'm gonna have to figure out. I'm gonna about have to find camera. out about that one because that was that was sweet. And of course, he's running around with it like a fucking jackass. He's got it like, oh, let me go ahead and do this moving. The reactions that the family had were like. <laughs> I did like. I did let like Sam Rockwell's response. Like I, I knew he was gonna say it. Did you catch that on your? Yeah, your because the, slow this, motion this, camera. this stupid guy, the guy who who is yep. a jerk. Yeah, he um. He was telling the family, oh, you know, I got this amazing video of this piano moved 10 feet across the floor and it took like seven hours, right? Yeah, but I caught it on, on, uh, this, on the motion, yeah, the, the motion this. or time motion something or other. So he, he did it in slow-mo basically. He caught it in slow-mo and then he sped it up. So he's trying mm -hmm. to tell them all about how he did this magnificent thing. Yeah. And the chair like... So yeah, pulls out from under him and flies a, across the room. A teeny tiny. He's sitting in, like so. He decides to sit down at like the tea party table that his, the daughter has in the room. <laughs> so he's gonna sit down. His 
ma- I mean, he's a taller guy. He was taller than Sam Rockwell. He's got to sit his, his fucking ass down on this itty-bitty 25-pound limit chair, and it zips out from under him, smashes it into the wall, and then Sam Rockwell's like, did, did you catch that on your, your special... On your time-lapse camera? Last camera? Yeah. And I... See, the thing was, is that was much of of what the, the dad did in the original, was, you know, he was at this ass. point... You know, they had seen all this weird shit, so it was kind of mundane to them at that point because, you know, they lost the the freak value. But without the buildup that they had in the original movie, without the, you know, I mean, there's there's bits that you could have cut from the original movie. The the weird guys, you know, digging the the swimming pool outside, all that kind of shit. That was weird. But, yeah, but, that, but it was just such a long... It, it like, I was, just remember but it, it was dragging in good. some parts, though. It was good. This, but this part, this movie didn't drag. No, it didn't, and then it sucked. There was, there, there was, there was, okay, there was drag in it too. Not really. After they got rid of the daughter, we get the the ten minutes of the guy talking about, you know, oh, I got this one in the fucking Philippines. Oh, I got this one. in I the, thought that was no. actually okay. And that then, was not drag, babe. And then the dad was talking for like ten minutes uh. for some reason random stupid shit they had this whole subplot about the dad losing his job which and then th- like they didn't go anywhere with it it I was liked, like okay I the awkward situation though between him and that the was, real estate that was funny. agent that was really funny and that's probably why they kept it in the movie and he's like hang on hon I'm having a really awkward, awkward conversation with our, this real estate agent right now yeah. but like you know the, the whole point like he doesn't have any money and then it, it doesn't really have anything to do like that's part of a different story to me it feels like like this is the chunk of the movie where nothing is happening, and then then we go into the the part with the fucking ghosts and shit. And it's, I don't know. And I okay, there were bits in there where the jokes are funny. The daughter was never funny. Um, the little kid sometimes funny. The the uh, the brother was mm-hmm. was sometimes funny. Griffin, uh, I think it's yeah. Griffin. Griffin Griffin was funny. The girl, the the elder girl, was not funny. But ever. I don't think she was trying to be funny. They were trying to make funny? her funny. Was she? Tr- when did she they were uh, trying yeah. to remember when she's just like okay or, or something like that. She said something like to be sarcastic about the guy. And remember that one guy? There was a guy in there who just like like that was the funniest thing in the world to him. Everything else up to that point, it didn't phase him at all. And then like she she said something stupid. She was <laughs> she's like uh, okay, and she gets up and leaves. And he's like, oh, <laughs> like for like for like a second. I mean, it was a really just a little burst, but it was like, ha ha, that was funny. I was like, no, it wasn't. who, what, when? Did I miss this part? You you just weren't paying attention. Oh. See, this is how this is why you were okay to watch the movie because <laughs> you don't think you're dragged because you were off no. in your own world. It's I Me, have, I sat there watching the entire thing, hating just, it. That's because I have. I just had fans. just anger towards towards fucking the whole movie. The this I I did like the line. They kept some of the lines in there. Uh, the whole fight at the very end. With, um... I didn't like the fact that the scary monster wasn't as... As scary. Yeah. It was a it was a tumble of, of people. It wasn't the big fucking, like, roar! It wasn't know? the crazy monster that they no, had. I love that shit. I did. I thought that I was, was so actually pissed. really cool. I was but like, so you're gonna give me the fucking normal horde hand, you know, people like, It just looks scary. like, like, um, purgatory. Yeah. Like, it looks, that's, that's basically what I think of. It's it like looked, a whole bunch of bodies, like, crawling over well, each other. It, it looked like... It looked like the opening of Constantine. Oh, that's what I was going to say. Constantine. Yes, thank you. It looked like... Yeah, and it looked like Constantine. It looked like any of the newer movies where they're like, let's just do a bunch of them because that's scary. It wasn't. It just was not. I mean, it's... The uh, the thing that I really didn't get was that this thing has been fucking with electronics all over the damn place, and yet that drone kept working. Yeah, I thought that, that was drone weird was too. amazing. Whoever built that fucking drone, that's that's like spectral military grade shit. That really is. That was amazing. Because it shut off iPhones and tablets and TVs. I didn't and get the the whole let's let's punch in the the drill. That you know, so he takes ten minutes, dipshit takes 10 minutes to find the stud in the very beginning part and he tries to drill and his hand goes through the wall he drops the drill he but tries to grab for it but that's why it was crazy though well, because the the whole dispute the hole was never there no no and i get that and that that was uh, i'll give you that one that one was kind of cool with the drill coming out through the other ways and then it, he let his arm oh, off I and then thought it was gonna hit him. they should have they should have focused in more on the the bloody arm thing because you saw his arm that was all like effed up yeah. Yeah. And, and then, then it went away. Yeah. And then it went away. Like if he had gone back downstairs, he's like, guys, guys, my. And then he looked at it. It was like, and but then he it was gone. Yeah. It was that just like, happened. oh, okay. So nothing really happened to him. Whatever. 
Yeah, so he was just, he got the crap scared out of him. So, That's about it. You know, yeah, so this thing has been fucking with everything all over the place. And he has to take 10 minutes to find the fucking stud. But then he, he goes, he punches in the drill, he tries to, he doesn't have to find the stud again. Which they make this whole thing about him trying to find the fucking stud. Yeah, because then he puts the And then he's just like, fuck it. And there's like a hole, like a big, huge hole, he like just, just goes falling in. Yeah. So he just, uh, so we know he didn't find the stud on that one. <laughs> and then he, he, they roll up inside to uh, to set the rope like they do in the, the original so that they can go through the, the place. So he runs in and he just drills into that one too. He doesn't need to find the stud anymore. Like he, like suddenly his, his horrifying episode of having his arm <laughs> pulled into the thing. He, he, he is, is a now stud a stud tracker. finder. Yeah. He is a stud. He's a, <laughs> that is his mutant power. He's become a stud finder. A stud finder. Yeah. Which is why he was, you know, freaking out every time Sam Rockwell was in the room. He's like, oh. Oh, Sam Rockwell. You so, you such a stud. You such a stud, Sam Rockwell. <laughs> I'm a I, stud finder. Mm-hmm. Why do I, I sound know. like a... <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what that was. That was... This, uh, this, uh, let's never sounded, speak of this again. It sounded a little tranny. I'm not even going to lie. I can't do so, bad voices. I can't. I tried. And then... So I like the... The car bit was a little weird. I thought it was kind of funny. It was just like, Dang it! It's like, what do you mean? And they're just like, oh, We couldn't go back because... Of, and then they were just like, Oh, fuck! And they try to floor it to get away from him. And then it flips over. That was kind of cool. That was cool. The, the house didn't implode. So there was a little bit of a it loss on that. Though. I mean, it, the, the, well, it blows up. It was still and like as a, they're driving away, so we don't get to see anything else. And then there's the implication that the guy may or may not have gone gotten back. He's like, "Oh, we found the GPS." So um, the uh, they replace the little lady from the original movie. They put her. Uh, they have this like big Irish guy who should have been the guy from In Bruges. Should have been that chubby guy. You'd recognize him. He was in. Uh, a lot of movies. He was a lot of movies. He was he was the guy who you seen Gangs of New York. No. Okay. Um, <laughs> you haven't seen more movies than that. Okay, I said scary movies. Gangs I of watched, New York is not a scary I movie. Scary movies. Anyway, uh, but he was in he was in Garda, uh, and he was in uh, Gangs of New York as the one who like you know pay, they pay for him to do things. Oh my god! What what else was he? I I've seen him before in so many movies. Yeah. Uh, well, this guy was one thing, but I, it could have been somebody better, uh, but. He's like, I'm the only one who can who can take them into the light now. Don't worry, and we'll do it. So he goes up and he, he jumps into the, the the hell portal, and I I liked the effect that they did for the portal, which mm-hmm. looked like things were like on fire. On fire, yeah, that yeah. they were burning up until up until he did it. Like up really? until he got up there, like everything else was okay. Like I mean, it wasn't great, but it was okay. But then the main guy, like that that one guy. You know the 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 priest guy gets up in there and he uh, he just like oh he dissolves away. I'm I've seen better. Uh, I mean it just it was not that good. Um, and then the house explodes and then they end the movie like it's the the whole ending is them driving up to a house. It's just and Sherlock Holmes. That's what he's in. Sorry, Ben. Oh Sorry. that guy. Yeah. He's Sherlock. He's in Sherlock Holmes. Yeah. And Natural Born Killers. Yeah. I'm trying to remember if there was anything else that was interesting. So they, yeah, the ending, they drive up and then it starts playing rock music. <laughs> His nickname is Hot Buns. Sorry, thank you, right. IMDb. Yeah. So. For giving me all kinds of cool information. So apparently she's she's lost interest in doing this now, and I'm I've kind of finished up with the movie. Movie was shit. Um, one out of five. Don't watch it. I give it a two point five. Out of five. It was all right. Okay, one. see, thank you. So you didn't like it either. All right. I, it was okay. I did you not like a, the ending. I already told you. I did not like the ending. As just, far as endings there was, go, there was, there was no so up, much. There was no satisfaction. Yeah. Um, they it, didn't the, do the... The story didn't even close. Like, it's like they purposely left it open for Poltergeist 2, and that's, uh, that's stupid. Yeah, I, I know it is, but that's well, stupid. Well, they did that with the first one when they, they rolled the, the uh, TV out. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I mean they I mean Poltergeist one it wasn't a perfect movie, but it was better than this. I just there was this movie didn't even try. Like I said, it, it felt like a kid writing a book report um before uh he, uh The night before it's the night due. before it was due. I didn't think it was Super duper awful, but I mean, like I said, the it ending, could have been better. The ending definitely could have been better. The actual movie itself wasn't super, super horrible. It was, but 
the the wife I didn't like. Uh, I didn't really like her. She didn't have as much of a connection to the kids as I think Sam Rockwell did. Like Sam Rockwell did really well around the the kids, but uh, the wife. I was not a fan of her. Even when they did the, the whole, like, she's, I'm her mother, I can do it. You know, like the, the line from the original movie where it's like, no, there's no way that she'll come to you. I'm her mother. She'll, she's not going to come to a stranger. I'm, I'm the only one who can do this. And then the kid ran up. And I'll give you that. I liked, I like I liked that Griffin twist. going in and he, he goes and he saves the, the sister. That was interesting because, you know, he, he felt responsible. And I liked that. I, I, I liked that they, they had everything going with him. It kind of defeated the purpose of the mom at that point, though. Like yeah. she didn't need to be there. I think that she did have a be- uh, have a a better relationship with Sam Rockwell than she did with the kids. Yeah, I do agree with that. Like, like that they was were, yeah, that was interesting. They were more believable as a couple by yeah. themselves than her as a mom. No, she did not strike me as mom. Anyway, I don't know. But, I mean, not all moms are awesome, though, you know? Like, well, no, but, I mean, you know, some of them are at least we're, we're, good. We have good moms, at but, I mean... Decent. Yeah, but we have good moms, though, but, I mean, not everybody's mom is awesome, obviously. Obviously. <laughs> Just, she wasn't, she wasn't bad. She wasn't good. She wasn't bad. I just, I, I don't know. There, there were so many missed opportunities and things not happening correctly in that movie that I just, I, I, I almost quit. I was just done with it the whole time. Well, I mean, like I said, I'm willing to give it more of a chance just because I've seen such horrible movies that are supposed well, to be I've really seen scary. And... Such horrible movies too, and that's my problem. This that's is why true. I don't... He he watches some horrible movies, and, and that's why I can still find good in them because they tried. No, they're yeah. horrible. Yeah, but I, yeah, and like I said, I can still find something that I like from them. You know, I liked Tower of Blood. I mean, Tower of Blood is an awful fucking movie, but they did some... At least they tried a little. I I thought... Oh, God, what was it? Um, oh, man. There was one I, that there was one that Dub made us watch, and oh, that one just made me that cry. One, that was a weird career. That, was, that didn't deserve it. Though. No, no, no. It was a good movie. It made me cry. It, oh, God, it made me cry. That one I sad. cried for, like, an hour. and But it was a good movie. Mm, so... Okay. It, it was. It wasn't a horrible movie. It was. It was crazy. I just. I didn't think it had, it had any redeeming factors to it. Oh, I. Well, see, I thought it was okay. Oh, well, that that might have but, just been me thinking about the because the main character just like uh, wicked pissed me uh, off. Oh yeah, he's just a horrible person. That's that, a horrible fucking person. Yeah. Anyway, anyways, okay. So despite all that, like obviously there are still some things that I can, even if it's a movie that I don't fully a hundred percent agree on, I will watch it most of the time and if it's interesting then I'll pay attention you know and th- but, you know, that was the thing like if it was interesting I would have been all over it but it wasn't it wasn't interesting I didn't think it was horrible though. I thought it was awful okay. I thought well, I thought that, that you know everybody in, involved in it should feel ashamed <laughs> um, I think I really don't think it was that bad I, I that think this it was. is the one movie that everybody just spits on and doesn't want it, to talk it about it deserves it it deserves no. it more than I think fucking Twilight does. Oh, because Twilight really? was a piece of shit, but everybody knew it. Really? I, everyone knew that. Twilight oh, was I cannot be a believe that you just complete co- compared oh, yeah. that to Twilight. Oh yeah, and the reason why oh. I think that Twilight doesn't deserve it compared to this one is because everybody knew Twilight was a piece of shit, and nobody tried to defend it. Speaking People of, people are trying I, to defend this one. I just read something that said that Chris, what did, I can't remember her name. Kristen Stewart. Kristen Stewart. Yeah, that she's a lesbian now. Oh, I'm sure she is. I was just, I was like, oh, okay. Yeah. She was with the director. Wasn't she doing a director? She was doing the director. And, and, and she was married at the and, same time. And she was, no, no, she, she was married, married to Pattinson. No, no, she wasn't married to him. She was married to him. She, was they she? were doing something, yeah. Oh, no, I thought they were just together. Oh, no. no they were either way. Something. Either way. I think they were married. Like, now, if if they're not, I'm, I'm going to feel stupid. But well, no, no. I think that they, they were just they dating. They had something. But yeah. they were serious. I mean, they were serious. They were like something serious. I yeah. mean, or, or not, I guess, if she's cheating on a director. But now. And then she was doing the director of, of what? Snow, Snow White? Snow White, White? yeah. Snow White in the Woods? Yeah, it was like that. Snow White in the Huntsman. And they were just like, Jesus. Yeah. This is a horrible fucking movie. I like that movie, too. <laughs> See, see, now we can just go. That's, you know what? That's you what know happened. what? On that note, on that note, I, I, I'm wondering if we should end this. Oh, it's just, it's, 
just yeah. before people think I have a horrible taste in movies. Oh no, they they, they thought that before. They already know. They already know. They already know. But that's okay. I, I do too. Uh, but my uh, taste in movies is just slightly better. Uh, that's <laughs> bullshit. Anyways. So yeah, so we've been going for about 40, almost 45 minutes. Mm-hmm. So... I guess, yeah, well, and we, we even had to, like, security came up behind us. We actually had to drive away. Yeah, we are like, all right, well, obviously. Apparently, they don't want us watching the stay in here at the movie theater. <laughs> they don't want us giving reviews on their No, they're just like, all right, movies. Oh, what, what are you doing there? How, how dare you stay out here and give us a movie? Oh, my God, the lights are out over here. All right, so, yeah, just be careful. Of course, this asshole's going, like, 10 miles, 10 miles an hour in front of me. So, hopefully, the next <laughs> review... Like, it's road raging. Hopefully the next review that we can do will be on the Avengers or on Mad Max. Mad Max. Yeah, I'd rather watch Mad Max than Avengers right now. Um, I'm. It's not that I don't want to see the Avengers. I think it's just I want to, you know, now I'm sitting there going like I want to watch the rest of the movies before. You still haven't seen. Yes, I have. I've seen yet. Captain America 2. Oh. I have. You made me watch it. Get you a mouthy little fucker. Anyway. Who? Me? That truck. Oh. He comes up, he just, he's like, fuck it, I'm gonna come up here, I don't have to do nothing. Yeah, that guy was a douche. <laughs> Anywho. Anywho, so, yeah, um, we'll just consider it cut at this point. You know, so, yeah, so, so Mad Max, we're hoping to give you a review, and... Have a camera on at that point. And hopefully we'll have a camera, which means I'll be doing my makeup. I, I can't let people think you have an ugly girlfriend, but... Oh, they don't think that are. They're surprised I actually have one. Oh, this is true. He got lucky. He did. But Multiple times. Oh, snap. Oh, God. That's horrible. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, that was like a Sam Rockwell so dad joke right there. Sam Rockwell dad joke. I, you know, admit, like, I, the whole time I saw Sam Rockwell on the screen, I liked him. Like, I didn't, I, I, there wasn't any point that I didn't like him uh, in that movie. I felt bad for him, yeah, but... You know, at no point was I like, ah, oh, fuck you, Sam Rockwell. I think we were mostly just disappointed with Sam Rockwell not dancing. There was just such a lack of dance to it. But apparently his red underwear were fascinating. Apparently, apparently that's why you, you, you could have given it a three, given it like a mild, you know. I and, didn't and even get to see like, the red like underwear. 2.5. I think if I saw him in the red underwear, I think it would you be different. You would have kicked it up to a three at that point. Instead. Just, lack instead, of red underwear. Obviously. You minus did, half a point. Obviously, you didn't like what you saw in the red down. underwear because well, you gave him a one. I, you know, it's it, I would have given it a zero, except for Sam Rockwell <laughs> and Tidies. Yeah, he, 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 was, he was working them. He was working those tidies. He was working those tidies. Man, I feel like Tidy I should have my woman card revoked. Like <laughs> Anyways. So yeah, we'll cut it at that point. Okay. Should we say thanks for listening? No, no, we're, we're done. We're done. Oh. They, they, it doesn't matter. We'll, we'll, we'll end it with the, the tidy whitey part. <laughs> the, the silence at that point.